YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the Mighty Morphin Pink Ninja Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This mode, yet again, coming from Power Rangers, or Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 3, as well as the movie with the alternate heads. And this is the first time we're taking a look at the female sculpt for it, so we know the differences. Let's go ahead and just dive right into the basics to get that out of the way, as usual with accessories. On her right now, I do have the two alternate hands she comes with because she just comes with the standard, you know, closed fists. But she has these two alternate martial arts hands, one kind of more of a karate chop hand, and this other one kind of like I have carpal tunnel hand. So those are the only alternate hands you get. You have this standard effect part here, which I do like the kind of shiny white pearly material these have, but they're also kind of a little bit boring to me, but I don't know, it's fine. You have this alternate head here, which is primarily from the movie, which actually, in my opinion, looks decently like Kim. I think it's kind of weird because like sometimes when I'm looking at it from a certain angle I think it looks quite like her and sometimes it doesn't, but there's definitely been far worse. Well as this alternate head representing the sort of in-between of it and then this little piece you put on with it as part of the accessory. This head's dual accessory is this little scarf piece to go with it as well. You have your par for the course articulation here, nice ball joint, swiveling, double knee joint, hinge joint here at the foot, swiveling here at the waist, ball joint at the head, ball joint at the arm, double elbow joint, swiveling here, swiveling here. And thankfully, as per usual, this is my, what, fourth figure now of these ninja figures, and I have not had any loose joint problems. Um, if you've watched any of these reviews in sort of a marathon for whatever reason, I'm sorry if a lot of it sounds like a broken record, but I do have to address that some of these figures in the ninja line have had problems QC-wise with certain figures arriving with broken legs or missing heads like this straight up not coming with it. So just be aware of that if you're wanting to get this and pick one out. I bring that up because it's kind of a review of the line itself. I think that's kind of a, a major oversight in regards to these figures. But also, at the same time, if you can get one, if it's actually normal, they're pretty solid figures. In the past, my two common complaints that I've actually had with these figures that I've been fortunate enough to get normal ones of is like this part here where you twist the leg. Obviously, you're going to have some weird discrepancies there because it's representing cloth, so it's not going to exactly gel well. But that's kind of to be expected, and it's not a huge deal. And then this weird little arm gap here at the elbow hinge, um, which is noticeable on all of them. Like, you have Black Rangers right here. You can see it. I will say I think the one on the female mold is much worse. Like, I think it's the worst thing about the figures, honestly, because I overall do really like these. I've mentioned in past reviews, I think it's really cool we have these because we actually have never gotten proper figures of these, especially for Season 3. So I'm, like, 90% happy with them and think they look solid. But my only, honestly, like, two complaints, for those, but really my only complaint is this. I think it looks really awkward depending on how you pose it, um, but it's kind of easier to overlook on this one and you can pose it just right, like here, you can't even really see it. But with this one, I think it's the most noticeable. I think the female mold doesn't do it any favors. It just looks more prominent and also because her arms are thinner, it makes it feel more fragile in between here. And even like right here, I feel it's a little bit more noticeable. Like when you bend her elbow, it creates this really unnatural, like, the lightning collection elbow gap leads to many articulations that some consider to be unnatural. I don't even know what I was saying there, to be honest, but you know what I mean. I think it looks worse on that. For me personally, like adding it to my collection, it wouldn't be a deal breaker just because, you know, I still want to get all of them and it still fits in okay enough, but I think it definitely doesn't look the greatest compared to the others. With all that being said, I think the head sculpt for this fully mask mode looks really great, and I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I think it's one of my favorites. I think it looks really good. I think they do a really good job of replicating the sort of cloth feel of it. I think the power coin, little black and gold bit there, pops off nicely against it. And overall, it still looks decent. I think that it looks a little bit worse in terms of the arms compared to the guy figures, but setting that aside, I'm still happy to own it for completion's sake. Well, I'm going to really quickly switch out to one of the heads so we can compare it to the only uh, other previous version that's an option. Okay, so here's a comparison to the previous released version outside of some minifigures is the only one available. The pink on the old one's obviously a bit of an off color. I honestly can't tell if that is the way it was or it's because mine's kind of like aging. Like my White Ranger one has some yellow bits, so it could be that, but it's definitely off. But I mean, that wouldn't be the only reason that this one is the better pick. Like, this obviously is far from perfect in a lot of ways, but I think that if you're in the market for this, this is still the better pick overall. This honestly just kind of looks like Rosie O'Donnell. Overall, I think that I'm a little bit disappointed, like, with the arms on this figure. So, like, if you're just picking and choosing, you know, I would say that the guy figures look a little bit less awkward in terms of individual reviews. I don't think that'll 
necessarily change because I'm going to imagine Aisha is going to be using the same mold. Um, same thing with the Catherine version, but we'll have to see. But I'll say overall that if you are like me and you're like actually kind of excited to be able to complete the team of Ninja Rangers, I wouldn't necessarily have it hold you back from picking it up, but it's definitely worth noting. And again, not to sound like a broken record, but definitely be aware of the problems with the QC stuff with missing things. Be sure to actually get one that has everything that comes with it. I've actually been fairly fortunate. All the ones I've gotten so far have shipped to me and I haven't had any problems, but maybe you want to go look in person just to be sure that you know you can get one that's right. But that's about it for this one, though, guys. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps to ring that bell. See you in occasions for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.